we did not shoot the ball well. I don't know that I've ever seen a box score where you had almost more rebounds than you had points. I don't know if I've ever seen that. So um, name of the game is making baskets, and we had a hard time doing that today. Any comments about your two players you have with you, and then we'll take questions for the student athletes. Well, I, I think everybody knows them. And okay, we'll take questions from the floor for the student athletes. Again, we would like to have their questions first, and then we'll let them go back to the locker room. All the way on the left-hand side, rear, please. Ashley, you got 23. You got 23 rebounds, and uh, you got 20 shots off. Or got 20 shots off, but it looked like there was a lid on the basket. Can you talk about how many close shots just didn't go in? I thought our guards did an awesome job of <clears throat> sorry of getting us the ball. Mm -hmm. They're single coverage most of the night, and I just I miss 15 point blick shots, and I think that has a lot to do with why we lost. So. Further questions for the student athletes? Just one moment. Could we get you to speak real close into the microphone, ladies? It's a yeah, little sorry. bit tough when you. Thank you. Courtney, where does this team go from here? <laughs> you just got to keep working. Got to keep getting better. Um, not not even just for the NCAA tournament, but just for our future as a program. And got to keep working. Got a question on the front left, and then we'll move over there. Courtney, talking about the bigger picture, is there a common thread with the Texas game and the A&M game and, and this game today? Yeah, we lost them. Um, I don't know. We just... Like Coach said, we didn't make shots, didn't get it done. I think that, that goes to me more than anything. Got a question, middle right. Courtney, anything that you can put a finger on as far as what has to change, what you guys have to get fixed before the tournament? I just think just finishing and um, decision making and just staying after it. I think for a, a little bit in the first half, we. Finally started going hard as far as efforts. Jenny Vining jumped out of bounds, saved the ball, and then D. Rob came back to the same thing. And I think that mixed in with our potential. We we could be the team we want to be. We just got to figure out how to do that, and figure out how to do it soon. Question on the middle. Ashley, talk a little bit about this team's confidence or lack of right now. Um. Obviously, our last few games have been frustrating, and we we know we have a lot of potential. We know we have all the pieces necessary, and and that we're very capable of being just as good as any team in America. It's just it's just frustrating trying to put it all together. Confidence, we're still confident that we can figure it out, and we're trying to. Okay, we're going to let the student athletes go back to the locker room. Coach Coles will remain for some questions. Best of luck, young ladies. Okay, questions for the coach. Got a question right behind you, Stephanie. Sherry, you talk, can you address where this team goes from here and what you need to do to correct this thing? Well, fortunately, we still get to play. We'll be in the NCAA tournament, and that's, that's a good thing, um, obviously. And we've got plenty of time uh, between now and when our next game is to try to take it apart and put it back together. Um, I think confidence is huge. And I, I don't think we looked like a confident team. I don't think we shot like a confident team. So uh, we've got to figure that out first. We've got to figure out where that germinates and, and uh, try to get it moving in the right direction. Um, and we get to play again. I mean, we do. We get to play again. Follow-up question. Would you have thought with Courtney and Ashley both having double-doubles that you would have lost this game? Well, I, I think it's more than that. I mean, yes, they both had double-doubles and their rebounds were ridiculous. They almost had more rebounds between the two of them than the entire Missouri team. But we also we, – we took 88 shots and made 29 of them. We go 3 of 11 from the free throw line. I mean, I, you – it's our lowest turnover game of the season. We only have 12. You have to make baskets to win this game. You got to make point blank layups. On our short, shot chart, we had 24 missed layups. Got to make baskets. Got to make plays. Got a question from Stephanie behind you. 
Sherry, what did you want to do on the last play after they tied it in regulation? You called timeout, you come in, and you didn't even get near the basket. Yeah, we, were, we had a set play called, and um, for some reason uh, we threw it back to, I think it was Ashley, our four-man, and um, that's inexperience at the guard spot, just not knowing um, the urgency of the moment, maybe not having been there before. And that's probably my fault for not drilling enough on that situation. Um, however, you take, take this sea of issues and you try to, try to be good at the things that happen the most first. <laughs> that was a little bit down my laundry list, the play at the end of the game. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you can trace it back to inexperience too and that at, at the end of regulation, if you just run out to the three and make her shoot a layup, it's, it's over. So, you know, we just hadn't been in that situation before. Got a question back on the left. Sherry, do you fear that you may have played yourself out of a, a Ford Center regional, or do you still think you might get sent to Oklahoma City? <laughs> I have no idea, Barry. No idea. Got a question in the middle. Well, well Barry, as you, quick. as you say, how important is that, or is that another thing that's way down your laundry list? Well, to get to the Ford Center, you'd have to win, too. So uh, I think that's a little bit down the laundry list, too. Got a question right in the middle. Sherry, I know you've tried some things to get this team going. Is it, do you do something drastically different now in the next eight days, or do you have to try some different things? I don't know. <laughs> I'll have a long trip home to think about it. Any further questions for Coach? We've got a question right here, and then we'll go back to the back. Sure, your are Big Twelve teams figuring out how to how to defend this team now? Uh, how to you know? You guys were so strong there in the middle of the season when you had that seven game win streak going on. Are they figuring out how to do it where where Courtney or Ashley can still get their numbers, and you guys come out on the short end? Well, I think the coaches in the Big Twelve are very very talented, and I do think they've adjusted and they've seen what. One team does that's effective, but at the end of the day, you know, Jenna Plumley goes three of 12. Somebody's got to make a shot. Amanda Thompson plays, what, 30 minutes and goes one of eight? Somebody's got to make a shot. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's the name of the game. And so I don't know, um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer your question, Lynn. I, we have to make baskets. You can't, you can't shoot 18% from the three and 33% from the two. and 20 from the line and expect to beat anybody, regardless of what their game plan is. Question on the left. Sherry, do you, outside of Courtney, do you have people that can make shots or do you just sort of have what you have? Oh, I think we're a lot better shooters than what you've seen lately, than what any of us have seen lately. And I think it probably speaks to how important the mind is, uh, how important your sense of focus is. and where your mental toughness lies, and, and this team has struggled with mental toughness all season. That's not been a secret. I've talked about it openly. Um, we're not the best perimeter shooters in America, but we're not this bad either. Final coach question. Got a question on the front left. Coach, do you feel like there was a hangover from just the struggles at the end of the season and, you know, coming in here today? Was there a lot of disappointment with just playing in the first round? Oh, I think our guys really tried to, to regroup and look at it as a breath of fresh air. And, and uh, they're just a bunch that they need something good to happen for them. And, and very easily um, the wind is taken out of our sails very easily and, and miss a few shots. And, and it does. It gets heavy when you continue to miss shots. There's – no doubt about it. If you've ever played, you know the, the adrenaline rush you get when you make them and how depleted you feel when you don't. So um, that was a bit of it. Um, but I, I, I think they really tried to prepare and have the right mindset coming in. I felt like we were ready before tip-off. Coach, thank you very much. Thank Best you. of luck to you in the NCAA tournament.